the first time that I, that I had hoped that she was going to make it. This Madison mother talks about the day her daughter finally woke after weeks in a coma, but the joy that Dina Carrion felt was soon replaced by fear that her little girl wouldn't get the organ donation she needed to live. Now, in a twist of fate, hope proved closer than they ever imagined. You made it. To see Lila Carrion run around a playground, I'm going to go down the slide. You'd think you she's a typical four-year-old. <laughs> But her mom will be quick to tell you, Wee. Lila's not like this. There you go. Most days. 97% of the time, she feels pretty awful and doesn't really have much energy. <laughs> we caught her on one of those rare days. What if I do that? Quite a contrast to what began one year ago, after Lila's preschool called home to say Lila had a high fever. I went and got her from school and took her to the urgent care and within 15 minutes we were in an ambulance on our way to Children's Hospital. Lila's kidney suddenly failed and her lungs filled with blood. Doctors told us at that point that they didn't know if she would make it through the weekend. After a three-week coma, Lila woke up, diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease and in desperate need of a new kidney. We had friends and family all over the country getting tested and looked everywhere for a match. <laughs> including Lila's birth mother, who wasn't a match either. Six months passed with no luck until Beth Batista saw a post on Facebook. Something just inside me, I felt that I had to go in and get tested. She turned out to be a match. She also turned out to be Lila's 4K teacher. I didn't know at the time that she was going to be in my class. All the really big ones. I've never really believed in faith. I'm a believer now. I feel like I should be bringing you guys no. A camera rolled when Beth told Dina of the match at school, giving her a simple gift. Just a little black box with a note, simple note inside. The note said, I may just be her teacher now, but soon a little piece of me will be with Lila forever. I'm Lila's kidney donor. <gasps> you are? Utter shock and disbelief. Oh my God. It took a minute to sink in. And when it did, <gasps> We were just shaking and crying, and my immediate thought was that Beth was going to be part of our family. Being able to save a little innocent child's life and give her a future is its just amazing. Okay. The new kidney will mean no more of this for Lila. On an average day, she receives 19 different medications. I know. All in addition to the 12 hours of dialysis. Okay. 12 hours of dialysis every night. I have to scrub my hands before I start touching anything. The bedtime routine at the Carrion House. On the desk, hon, not on the bed. Takes an hour and a half. So we have to keep the fluid before it goes into her body. Dina, her husband, and son. I take care of her. Have it down. <laughs> Taking Lila's blood pressure, finding the right combination of medicine. I'm gonna clamp off the lines and logging it all because there is no room for error. So this is what you end up with in the morning. This is the drain bag of fluid that came out of her body. Toxins come out, medicine goes in, but first the site oh. Oh, sorry. has to be sterilized. I'm sorry. Each swab painstaking for Dina, sometimes painful for Lila. I know it's hard. It's not fair. But Lila endures. You wear your body crown. Oh, I would like that very much. Dina. Thank you. May wear the birthday crown. Oh, yes. But Lila. Thank you. Will get the ultimate gift. Are you sure? Thanks to the teacher who's giving of herself <laughs> and to her family who refused <laughs> to give up hope. No, no, no. Dina told me it's ironic because the reason she and her husband adopted is because Dina has lupus, an autoimmune disorder that can complicate pregnancy. And now her daughter has a different autoimmune disorder that really turned their world upside down. Kathy, it's called MPA, okay. microscopic polyangitis. And it really just threw them for a loop, came out of the blue. Oh my goodness, and now the transplant is scheduled. It is, that's yes. the all good right, news right. and we'll have more on that and the connection all of this has with the Green Bay Packers oh my. in our next half hour. <laughs> what a story.